How are you anyway? Firstly, how are you? You okay? I, I, I'm very good. Um, you know, I'm, I'm healthy. I'm happy. Um, life's good. I mean, um, it's, 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 it's all right. I mean, it's all right. We're expecting a, a snowstorm over the weekend. Um, I got a chance to get away with my wife last weekend, get some R and R, some rest and relaxation. That was really nice. So this weekend, I can uh, can I kind of be inside and watch some movies to catch up with some some Netflix things and uh, yeah. relax. What what are you watching now on Netflix then? Uh, I, you know, of course, you know we are looking at the, uh, the uh, coming to America too. <laughs> so yeah. uh, Eddie Murphy movie, I yeah. watched it last weekend, but it was just so many people around. I didn't get a chance to hear all the jokes from some people around. So I'm going to watch it this weekend where it's, it's, it's not, not as many people around so I can enjoy the movie a little bit more. So, so, so I can tell by your shrine, I'll call it your shrine, you're still involved <laughs> with boxing then, big time. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, of course. I mean, I, I think... And stuff. I'm sorry, say it again, Rich. I said, I said are you training fighters and stuff now? No, I, I can't. I can't hear. Repeat that again. I said sorry. I said, are you? You're at your gym now, training the fighters. Yes, I'm, I'm training. I'm training other fighters. I'm training other other fighters and uh, other uh, clients. Um, um, I'm gonna say just uh, clients who uh, who who want to enjoy the uh, who want to walk in my shoes for a day or walk in my life for a day or so. And they want to know, you know what was I thinking when I was in this fight. Um, so, so it's, it's one of those things that, that I'm able to uh, to interact with the, the people who are who are involved in boxing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so it's, so it's kind of cool. We have a passion for it. It's like oh. uh, it's like, uh, like like American football over here. Uh, I'm not saying I'm Peyton Manning, but if someone wanted to kind of know what Peyton Manning was thinking about. What was he doing? What was going through his mind? And they get a chance to kind of like um, rub shoulders with him, or just kind of pick his brain about certain things as yeah. as yeah. things to football. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. So what? Have we got any prospects or anything like that on the horizon in your gym? Or we we do. We have a young guy named Ty Ty Davis. He's a 16 year old, uh, 185 pounder. Um, He's got, he's, got a, he's, got, he's got some problems with him. Uh, he's, he just keep getting nagged by injuries because he's so big and so young and so strong that sometimes he's dealing with little, little, little ailments that, that happen just because he's so big and strong. He's like a grown man, yeah. but his body is still, you know, still maturing uh, and, and the, growth, the growth plates and growth spurs. Yeah. So, but you know, that's, that's a little bit of process, but you know, it's kind of good and bad. Yeah. yeah. So where, where did your name come from? Touch of Sleep. What's that all about? Where did that? In 1995, I was in the World Championships in Berlin, uh, and uh, my my teammate Lawrence Claybay, a uh, super heavyweight uh, 1996 uh, Olympian, uh, we probably boxed over 200, 300 rounds, and he thought that. I was calling myself Dangerous Jab for my name, Devaro Jerome. I was using DJ as for Dangerous Jab or Devaro Jerome. And he said, man, I want you to call yourself Touch the Sleep because either hand is not the Dangerous Jab that's getting people attention. It's both hands. So yeah. he called me Touch the Sleep, and I, I've been using it ever since. Of April um, so Lawrence Claybay gave you that name? Yes, Lawrence Claybay gave me that name. Isn't that cool? That's a good story. Well, that's a great in your, yeah. In your career, so you had a great career. You fought many top fighters. Who would you say was the hardest fight in your career? You know, there's a couple of fighters. Um, there's a guy named Antoine Chazelle. Uh, we fought, we both were at a crossroads. He was 81. I was 81. We both had seven knockouts. We both 81. He was from... Florida, and I had not heard from him since. Uh, we fought in New York, in Washington Heights, New York. And if you can get your hands on a tape, I would love for you to kind of like, you know, 
poke around and see if you can get that fight between myself and Antoine Cesaro, you would see this guy literally kick my ass the whole first round. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm looking at my coach like, who the hell is this guy? You, you, you know what I mean? Because, you know, you got to know who's – you've been in the game as amateurs. You've been in the game as pros. You got to know who's who in yeah. the world. And to fight this guy, Antoine Cesaro, I remember him getting in the ring and Jeff Lacey, the 165 middleweight, walked yeah. in the ring with him. Jeff Lacey is a guy I, – as a kid, I raised. I'm like – who is this guy? Why are you in the ring with him? You know what I mean? Because I think Shelly Finkel or uh, they had something to do with him, bringing him. But I know he kicked my ass for the first round, for <laughs> sure. And then uh, I remember my coach at the time, his name is George Durbin. He was arguing with the, with the New York commissioners about how wrapping my hands were. And I said, like, Coach, relax. So he was a little bit, a little bit, a little bit in like a little tiff before the fight started because um, George Durbin, my, my my coach was uh, was, was like you know, like like angry with the with the commissioners in New York because they didn't like the way he was wrapping in my hands. Yeah. So coach, relax, man. I'm gonna beat this guy. I'm gonna knock him out. So they can't get in the ring and fight for him. And so we got through that. I got I got my ass kicked the first round. And then second round, I came back to the corner and my coach was giving me water. And he just started laughing. I was like, what's wrong? He said, man, you know what I mean? I know you like, I know you're gonna listen to me now. I know you I know you're gonna fight now. Because, you know, this guy was beating me with a jab. I mean, he's a big brother with these, I don't know, it was, it was, it was plaits, dreads, and 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 braids all mixed up in one. Yeah. And his hair. I, I was like, you know, I don't know where he came from, fresh off the street or whatever, uh, out the joint, uh, out of the penitentiary. I was like, man, where's he gonna come from? But we, 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 it, it, it was a it was a good fight for two rounds. Yeah. He, he I thought he dominated the first round, and then of course I turned it on the second round and was able to get him out of here. And when I knocked the person out, when I stopped the fight, I wanted I saw him in, in the back in the dressing room. And I said, uh, hey, man, it was a good fight. And I asked him, do you think they stopped the fight too soon? He said, no, nah, I, I have a problem with stopping the fight. So wow. that part, that part was, was, was cool because I kind of want to know if you feel like the, the fight was stopped prematurely or you, you disagree with the, the decision or outcome. You know, you yeah. kind of want to know as fighters, yeah, you know yeah, who, yeah. You fight, who you shouldn't be fighting. So it's, it's one of those things. Yeah. So, like, uh, as I say, any, any, do you have any regrets in boxing? I mean, like, was there someone that you wanted yeah, to yeah, fight you and know, never? Or? You know, as a kid, uh, Joe, Joe Messi, um, you know, you wish you could have that fight over again. Uh, that's another kid that, that I raised. Uh, you know, his dad, you know, you know, you know, like, being close together in 1995, 96, the Olympics you know, program, um, you know, we traveled around the world, Sweden and Finland to fight together. And I lost that fight to, to him. Yeah. Uh, you know, you kind of want to have those back. But again, in my life and in my experience, I try to share with my wife, Jennifer, that that these things that happened in my life, they made me a better me. So what yeah. she's getting is the best the girl has ever been. You know, yeah. like, like through the ups and downs, you know you know, how you, it's not, you know, everybody does well when things are going well for them. I mean, uh, everybody does well when things are going well for them, but when things are not as well or not as good, how do you, with the character you bring, how do you handle that? How do you, um, how do you handle adversity? How do you handle, you know, like toughness in that, in that, in that, in that aspect? So um, I, I feel that all those things that with education, with you know, being you know, being born, you know, the different uh, obstacles I had to come from being born in prison to going to a foster homes, to meeting my mom, to meet my biological dad, to you know, going to different schools, six different elementary schools, two middle schools, one high school, finish colleges from Rochester, Minnesota, 
Wayne State, Nebraska. Of course, my master's degree in Northern Michigan, uh, Northern Michigan University up in the Upper Peninsula of, of, of Michigan. Like, I, I, I'm in Colorado, I'm from DC. Uh, yes. it, it just you know, like all those things, they matter. They make sense yes, yes. and they have made an impact in my life for sure. You're like a boxing road warrior. You know, renaissance man a little bit. You mean, you know, you, know, you have some things that, that you've done and you, you, it's intertwined with sports, with football, basketball, with uh, summer camp or uh, resident summer camp or just in the neighborhood. It, it's just a whole bunch of things that kind of compile together, that, that, that come together as a, as a fine tool machine. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah, you, like I said, just hearing your stories just is fascinating. What about career highs? I mean, what was the you know, you've got like I said, you had many career highs. I can see your your well, you know, it's boxing, um, you know, you know, like just things in life, you know, winning outstanding camper of the week or outstanding counselor or being counselor of the year or being um in, in high school, being most popular, being the you know, best football player. Uh, you know, uh, or you know, like you know, every year they choose who will be that person to make you know to make the adjustment in boxing. I won um, 1997 uh, uh, Tam tournament, uh, Finland outstanding boxer. Um, oh. To be in the Paul Connor outstanding boxer. I mean, like to be in the stadium where there's a Floyd Mayweather, there's an Antonio Tarver. They're in the house and to still yeah. get outstanding boxer when those guys in, in, in the tournament, that's that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty, pretty damn good. good, yeah. That's special. That's, good. that's special. That's good. You know, outstanding boxer in, in Finland and, and Sweden and across the world and to be the only heavyweight champion, uh, three-time national champion, the same time Tiger Woods was winning the amateur golf tournaments, the same time I was winning in 90, 1996. 1997, 1998, to be the best amateur golfer. I'm the best amateur boxer. And, yeah. and uh, winning, the only the only heavyweight to win it three times in a row. You know, it, it's kind of cool. And you see the belts. You have uh, the, the NABF belt, was kind of yeah. cool. Alicia Castillo. And then you beat Dirk Jefferson at Madison Square Garden. You know, you know, you 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 have these 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 things. That you you know that you accomplished to beat yeah. all of them on call. You know, you know, I feel like I beat uh, Klitschko. You know, losing to Chris Bird. Um, you know, one fifteen, one thirteen. Um, to for the heavyweight for the IBF heavyweight championship. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, just you know, different things in your life has has uh, has evolved, and you know, you just you know, you're really happy. What, how your life is, how, where your life has been. You know, remember I started boxing at, at 25. So yeah, I yeah. 13, 14. I started yeah. 25. So yeah. to accomplish all these things I've accomplished, it's like I've been boxing all my life. Yes, you fantastic. Mean, fantastic. There, 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 mm -hmm. are boxers, there are boxers out there that have done it longer, if you like, and haven't got half as much as what you've got. Do you know what I mean? No, no. And, and you know, I always... Uh, look at the people who come to the gym, and I say a guy's 28 years old, he's 23 years old, and I say, man, I started at 25, yeah, and I accomplished yeah. all these different things, all these different things I've accomplished. Like, I think you can do it. But really, Rich, Richie, I don't know if it's ever been done before, and I don't know if it's done ever. I haven't seen anyone, you know, apples, apples, oranges, oranges, have accomplished the things I've accomplished in yeah. a time period, especially at the age. You mean, at 25? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Boxing, all these things boxing, you, yeah. I mean, you won 10 national championships, a couple of world ranking tournaments, uh, you know, you know still an outstanding boxer, uh, you know, having so many knockouts. I mean, you know, it's, you know, sometimes you go to a tournament, you're a marked man. You have a big old, you know, t a target on your back because of all the confidence you've had and yeah. everybody's, in the gym, everybody's in the stadium like, that's him, that's him, that's him. You may not have no idea who those person, those those people are, but everyone knows who you are. To be yeah. on the front of the magazines, to be in, um, you know, to be voted 
you know, the best boxer in the world, the best punch in the world by your peers, it, it, it's, it's kind of cool. It's yeah, kind of cool yeah, because we, we as people, citizens, we want to be respected by our peers. If mm. you, as you're a writer um, and you want people, other writers to say, man, you know what? That Richie Rich, he, he, you know, he does a good job. He tells yeah. the truth, you know, he, uh, he's, he, he calls like it is, you know, you know he, he's honest. And that's kind of what you, you want in a, in a person. You want a person mm-hmm. to kind of like be honest with yourself, be honest about what's going on in the world so that those people can get better and have a, a, better, a better output in, 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 into the world. Yeah. Uh, that, do you know what? That is, that is, that's a really positive message. Um, and, and, and yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm really taken back by your story. I'm really taken back by your achievements. And I'm great. I'm so honestly, you don't know how grateful I am that you've just took some time to talk to me. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm honestly humbled just speaking to you, looking at everything there, just in this small picture from the UK. It's, well, it's, I, I, like I say, Richie, that's very kind of you. And you know, when the first person kind of like behind you is the doorway where they come into the gym. Yeah. And you see these belts and you see these championships. But what you don't see is all the fights that were lost. You know, losing to uh, Chris Bird, mm. uh, losing to um, uh, uh, who, who else? Uh, so you didn't lose that many, see? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but, but it's enough because the belts you see. There's at least three belts that I should have won that are not here. And one being the heavyweight championship of the world against Chris Bird and um, uh, Charlie Meehan, losing, losing to him where I had him beat in Madison Square Garden. Um, mm-hmm. I feel like I had Vladimir Klitschko beat in Caesars Palace outside in front of 18,000 people. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? I, like I was short. I mean, again, you know, life, those are experiences. You know what I mean? I can't mm-hmm. change anything. Because it made me, a, I hope that better than the, the, you know, you know, there's ever been. So I, uh, I'm grateful for the loss. You know, like, you know, you ask God, you know, to bless you in terms of being, you, everybody thinks it's always about, you know, what the good stuff is in life. Yeah. You know, the, you, you know, your, your maker, your prayer, say, hey, like, I want to be thankful for this. I want to get a house. I want to get a nice car, mm. a good job. Man, I want to be thankful for the good and the bad. Yeah, the yeah. That, I mean, the, I'm thankful for the good and bad. Not everything's been good, but because it makes me a better person, hopefully that I can give more to my kids. You know what I mean? You know, you know, I have, you know five kids. I have Dante, Alion, Donald, Gabe, and Nina. I'm like, I, 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 I want to be able to, you know, to give them the right advice or the right mm-hmm. constructive criticism. You know what I mean? It's not always, as a parent, it's tough. It's not yeah. always, you know, come out the right way, you know, maybe at the right time, but mm. you are, you're guilty of loving your kids and you're guilty of, of trying to pour what's right or what you think is, and, you know, and sometimes it doesn't always come out the right way. You say, mm. hey, hey, Dante, I mean, like, I want you to do more here. Or, mm. hey, Nina, I, I think you can be, I think this right here would be more beneficial if you do this. You know, hey, Gabe, I think this school right here, this college would be a better institution for you because you get a chance to focus on you and not worry about your friends so much and what they're doing. You know, you, you man, in a smaller setting, there's 2,500 students on campus. You got to be the man. I mean, like, yeah. you know, I'd be the, be, the, be the big fish in a small pond rather than a small fish in, in a huge, you know, a huge pond. You know yeah. mean? Yeah, it's true. It's true. And like I say, it's just a, it's just a, you know, like you said, what we say in the UK is it's not always a bed of roses. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Uh, you know, I mean, you've got to take, take the rough with this move and things like that. that, that that's worldwide. You know, you know and, and it's, it's kind of cool because uh, you know, I'm thinking, looking around the gym, and I see Floyd with a, a lot here. And there's a dear friend of mine, and, you know, we, you know, we, we go way back and, and you know such a good man i mean like you know, you know i love him like a little brother and, yeah. and, and such a good guy and then you didn't see zach judah on the wall you see uh the singer sean mendez is here uh yeah, yeah. the comedian i mean i mean uh, uh russell peters uh yeah. you know 
uh, Alexander Povetkin. You know, everybody's, you know, to see him still at it, uh, to see him still doing it. Antonio Tarver, you know, you know, Roy Jones Jr., Mike yeah, Tyson, yeah. They all, you know, you know, they, they're here in just different, in different capacities. You know, it's, it's kind of cool to, uh, you know, to have them, you know, here in, I mean, you know, we can get the, you know, the mayor, the honorable mayor, Michael Hancock here in Denver, Colorado. Then we have the mayor from Washington, D.C. who passed away, the yeah. honorable mayor, Marion Barry from Washington, D.C., who has had a very good hand in my life because of what he provided, the programs he provided in Washington, D.C., you know, 25, 30 years ago of, of, of helping young African-American, uh, like, get summer jobs or get uh, schooling, get programs before school, after school program, free lunch program. I took a part, I took advantage of all those things that, yeah. that he was able to provide for the for the city of youth. And uh, you know, and I think I'm standing here because of those 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 kind of people who have been you know, impactful to my life. You have uh, Howard Schultz, the, the young man who created Starbucks. We went yeah. to the same college, Northern Michigan University. Like you get so many different People, you know, you want to talk about, you have Sean Johnson, 106 pound fighter of Washington, D.C. You have James Baker, 125 pound fighter of uh, Washington, D.C. I mean, like, you have Chauncey Billups, you know, a basketball player, MVP uh, of the NBA Finals with Detroit Pistons. I mean, like, you have a, a, a lot of people here in, in the city. Andre Davis, a former NFL football player. Yeah, the football you know, player, yeah. Lane Maurer. I mean, a former basketball player in the NBA. It, it, it's it's it's, it's kind of cool, you know, to be here, and and we're like, you know, I have a lot of pictures on the walls because people come into come into my studio, come into my gym. I want to love on them. I want I want to know let them know that you know they're here, they're appreciated. You know, you know my roommate, me from college. You know, yeah. you know Eric, Dr. Eric Lee. You know, I mean, you have different friends. You have you know. Uh, uh, Pedro, uh, Peter, you have Chris Russell, you have, you have a, a ton of people here in, in, in uh, you know, they, they just made an impact, you know, in my life. And, and, and it's kind of cool. Bobby yeah. Boucher, you know, you know, uh, you know, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It's a, t it's a long list. It's a, too many to mention. Yes. <laughs> But this, this, is a, this is a part of my project as well. I just want to get out and reach out to as many fighters as I can or refer or whatever, just to show my appreciation, just as a boxing fan or a boxing fanatic, whatever you want to call me. Um, and, and like I say, it's, it's, it's been fantastic to talk to you and I really am grateful for your time. Well, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm so grateful and, and, uh, and honored that you would think of the little guy. And I'm hoping that I responded in a timely manner no, to no, say, no. I'm, I'm, I'm all in. Yes, sir. I mean, I was no, I was because really. uh, she was asking about like, well, what is the interview? I said, it's probably about boxing. Mm. <laughs> I mean, like, what else would it be about? I mean, yeah, and yeah. so, you know, there's a guy, Richie Rich from, from the UK. And I know it's going crazy on over there because I saw something on the news yesterday. There's, you know, a guy walks away from his his place in in, in the media. Um, and oh yeah, 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 um, yeah. It's, it's, it's all, it's, it's, yeah, it's all. Um, that guy is an arsehole. Excuse my French. I'm really sorry. But, I get, I get, I, I, again, I'm just watching, you know, yeah. just watching the news and hearing it. So, hey, you know, yeah. I, I'm going to be speaking to you today, but at least you want to feel good. I'm aware, I'm conscious of what else going on in the world, America. I mean, what else going on in the world? Not mm. just Inglewood, Colorado, and TOS Boxing Gym. I want to be, I want you to know that I'm abreast of what else going on in the world. And yeah. I the guy, it wasn't the best, wasn't the best subject, you know. Maybe it's good for the both of everybody because he walked away because now he won't be going against the queen or whatever else going on. Yeah. That's how they interact. No. He, 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 yeah. We, the, le the, 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 the less said about him, the better. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. So what, what have you got planned for the rest of the day? You, you know, I have more clients here that I need to tend to. 
um, I'm going to, um, you know, today is Friday, so, yeah. oh, is it day Thursday, Friday? Thursday, Thursday, today, yeah. Thursday, sorry, sorry, so sorry, today is Thursday. I, I don't know, because we're expecting this big storm, snowstorm is coming in over the weekend, we're trying to prepare to make sure that, you know, you got enough foods and snacks, because we probably, you know, snug stuck in for a day or two, you know, at the house. So yeah. make sure we get some firewood for the fireplace, yeah. um, you know, got some snacks, some food, uh, and then you know, make sure you're comfortable. Make sure you got your Netflix. Your Netflix are, are ready to go. Um, I'm, I'm gonna work. I'm gonna work all. I'm gonna pretty much work all the way until the snow comes. When the snow starts coming, then I'll I'll go and hibernate. But for the most part, I'm gonna try to stay here and, yeah. and stay at it for the next couple of days until, until yeah. I really I feel like it's getting so so bad that I gotta go home and you know, stay in. Yeah, that's that's that's. Yeah, just stay safe. Whatever you do, just keep, you know, be careful and, and stay safe and everything like that. Um, and I'm gonna, over there? Yeah. How's the weather over there in England where you are? It's windy, but there's no snow. No snow okay. at all. It's just a bit of wind and a bit of sunshine, actually. But okay. yeah, apart from that. Um, so I'll let you get back to your day anyway, champ. Thank you, Richie. And again, uh, I really, really, really appreciate time. your time, honestly. No. Uh, I really appreciate you really reaching out to the little guy over here. I right. really respect your time. And I hope there's any time that you can reach out, always you know, log on TOSboxing.com to learn a little bit more about my story. Thank you for taking an no, interest no, no. in my life, my story, and my career. And if you, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll keep in touch with you via Facebook and stuff, if that's all right. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And, and okay. I, again, Really, really you, grateful. At least fine. you know that I respond immediately to you. Of course. So I'll, of course. I'll continue that relationship, okay? Of course. Oh, pretty, really, I'm grateful, honestly, champ. And Thank you for your time. Day. God bless to you and your family, my friend. God bless you as well. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you for your time.